Good evening all. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I hope you can all hear me from your end. Yes. Yeah, so I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all to our today's session. So I'm hoping you've had a great weekend. So last time uh, in our previous class, we were, we did a number of uh, visualization. So we examined how you can use the natural language uh, processing in Power BI to generate insights from your data. So we also delved into some simple DAX queries, whereby we were creating uh, variables from existing fields and so on. So today we'll just continue from, from there and explore more how we can uh, build various type of charts in Power BI. Let me share my screen. Hope you've opened Power BI from your end. Yeah, so this is what we did last time. So we saw how you can use the card. So the card mostly is used to display KPIs uh, on your dashboard. Right? So we saw we calculated the total number of employees who were there in, the, in this organization. We also did the number of attritions we calculated the active employees, attrition rate, and the average age. So we said that we'll be, we said earlier we will be dealing with attritions alone. So you will delve deeper into other variables. So we want to know in each department, how many attritions have we had in each? department. So with that, I wish to use a bar chart. Use a bar chart. So I'll go to the data pane and select a field, the fields that I want to add to the X axis and the Y axis. So I want my Y axis to show the number of attritions. So number of attritions on the Y axis. So it is number of um, regions. On the y axis. And on the x axis, I want to have departments. So I want to have departments on the uh, on the x axis. So I'll simply search for department. So these are the number of attritions that we have in each in each department. So let us uh, 
let us format this a bit. So I want you to pay close attention to how we format charts uh, in Power BI. So these are the number of uh, attritions in each department. So for you to format a visual, you highlight it or you select it. You go to Format Visual tab. And then when you want to format, for instance, the title, you go to General. So under General, you'll see how we have title. So this is the number of attritions per department. Number of attritions. Uh, per, per department so you can we can bolt this and also we can center and also change the font type For instance, let's choose uh, Calibri, all right? So when you want to change the background color, we can do that. Like that. And then we can also do the same for the x-axis. And then we change the font, the font type. That's Calibri. Also, we can change the size. So you change the color. We can also change the, the title like this. And then on the Y axis, again, we can we can also format and or edit. So values. And then we can increase again the font, the font size. Like that. And then this right so still under general we can change the background color let's say that so we have uh, a number of attributes per department. So let us now uh, put the data labels. So data labels, you simply go to highlight the visual. And then scroll down to where we have data labels you turn it on and then we can change the position whether you want it to be at the center or inside so 
our values. Let's edit and change the color. Let's say we say white, for instance. Let me enlarge it. Right, so let's go. Now we see number of attrition per gender. So with this, I'll use a pie chart. I'll simply use a pie chart to represent this. So this I'll take number of attributions agenda. So I'll highlight the visual. Go here, look for agenda. gender we put it in the legends and then we look for number of attritions number of attritions agenda so that's what we're having we're having a pie chart So let us format uh, maybe the title. This is um, attritions by gender. And then let me center this. Change the text color a bit. Background color, I'll put that. Effects. that color yeah so let us edit now the data labels so data labels go to where we have values So values, change to white, this change to Calibri. Like that. And then let us, you can also format the legends. Let's form on the legions. So legions, you can format the legions. Text, we can bold text for legions. 
can also change the font color. Right, change the font color. And then we can choose where we want our regions to appear. Let's say top right. Yeah, so it's here. So I hope you can see from your end. Let's remove this. So let us look at attrition per education field. So I want to use a horizontal bar chart. Like this. So I'll take education field. I put it in the y axis. education so I take education field and then I take number of attritions in the x axis so this is what we are having so let us format this let us format this First of all, let us uh, change the background color for the canvas. I assure you how to change the background color. Hope that makes it uh, visible from your end. you can see it from the uh, end. So I've simply changed the background color of the canvas. So let's continue editing uh, this visual for number of attritions by education field. So let me go to format visual and uh, general we have effects. We change the background color. And then, after we've changed the background color, let us edit the title. A 
number of patricians by education and by education. So we can bold this. of attrition by education and then let's change the, the title uh, font color and then send this to maybe Calibri and then on On the y axis, you can also edit. So let's go for the y axis. Y axis, let's edit. Change the font color to white. And then font Calibri and then you can one thing you can also change the color of the bars. can send the color for the bus so bus can send the color for the bus That, whichever color you want. Like that. Let's go with that. So let us uh, edit again the x axis. X axis, we remove the title but we let us include now the data labels so turn on the data labels change the font color to white values change this to white and then then this to calibri and then increase the Is the font size. So now let us rearrange these ones. Simply a simple dashboard. And then also arrange this. Let us change the color for this bus. And 
go to columns change the color green right so this one we didn't change the y axis so let us do that so y axis values let's remove this and then x axis simply edit again or format the x axis x axis So let us simply arrange this. So I want us to put now the title uh, for our report. But before we do that, so let us format these cards. So this under effects let's put this still under effects and let's choose this also this one effects change the color, background color also this change the background color as easy as that right so this one again, let's edit. So, call out to value. Let's put it to white. And then the title for it will also put white color should be white so we do the same thing for the other card for attritions so call out value we put white And then this is Calibri and then for the title we'll also put white white color so for active employee the same thing Or instead of uh, doing one by one, we can format paint. So I can take this. I take format painter. Right, it's a shortcut. So this was. Uh, This 
is active employees active employees same to this this uh, we had attrition rate so we can simply format this so that we move first and also simply format i'm using a format painter at 6.92 that is um average age so let us put the title for this this is a uh, attrition rate attrition rate and then this again this is average age so this is um, average age average age as simple as this is title right So again should be white. Right. So now let us insert the title for our dashboard. So the title, you can take a text box. This is the text box. So this is a HR analytics dashboard. HR analytics, let's say dashboard like this. So we can bold and we can change the font type. That's it. Change the font type to uh, a little bit just adjust the size. So 
Oh no, that is visible. We can change now the background. That's it. We got the effects. This. And we underline. And then change the font color to white so let us uh, see how we can put filters this dashboard. So filters, we can add a filter or a slicer. So. Let's say I add a filter for job role. Or a slicer for job role. So I take we have job role. So we are having this slicer. So and then let me add another slicer. Or maybe let me even take marital status. So slicer. Here is the slicer. So let me take this marital status. Right. So let us see how we can position these slices. So we can edit the slicer or change the formatting. So effect, then to this. And then that is the background. So we can put on the visual border. And then after effects. Have uh, the 
title send to Calibri font type we change to white so values change them to white again border so change the borders like that color of the borders white still do the same for this So slicer title slice type and marital status. So that's what we are having. That's our full dashboard. So let us have uh, different views of this dashboard. I'm just selecting among the various views that are available so that I can see the one that is more appealing. So let me select another one I see. This is too dull. Let me go with this a bit better. Hope that is visible from your end. So this is a slicer. When I select on, uh, for instance, if I select uh, among the slicer for job role, for instance, if I select HR, you see my dashboard is changing accordingly according to the field that I have, I have selected. Yes, someone has a question, can ask. Yes, um, so I'm asking, how 
workbook and the instance as well as the the title. Okay, so for the slicer, you simply you simply go to you see on the visualization pane. Eh? So so you just uh, hover around those visuals and go to where we have um, uh, you'll see a slicer. It's, it's look like a funnel. Eh? Yes. Yeah. So that's a slicer. So you click on that. So after doing so, you have to drag the field for the slicer. For instance, let me remove this. I show you how it's done. So this is the slicer. You click on it and then search for a job role. So it was job role. So you bring job role into the values. So you see this is the slicer that you have added now. See here. It's here. The slicer for job role. Hope you've gotten the concept. I didn't know what is you like. Yeah, depending on how you want, uh, how you want to analyze your data or to visualize it. For instance, if I want, for instance, to see maybe number of employees who are perpetrated by department, and I want maybe to filter that by education field so i'll insert a slicer for education field so that whenever for instance i select maybe for those who have master's degree how many have left in a particular department so that is what the slicer is used for and uh, marital status yeah um, position the you have like the health representative representative so that's how we, that's the job role so eh? basically yes yeah Okay. Yeah. So and then for marital status. Okay, thank you. For marital status, we are having divorced, married, and and single. And the title. So the title. You can insert the title using the text box. So you see under insert. You can insert a text box. This one. So in the text box, in the text box, you see under general. Yeah. So. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So simply click on the text box and then go to format text box. So under general, you see this where we have title. So when you when you turn it on, it will you will now be able to type in your title. For instance, it's a analytics dashboard like that. And then you can bolt. So 
so you can after you've done that you can change the font size the font type change to calibri for instance but you can choose among various font types yeah so so that's how it's done And then another thing that I'm about to forget, the slicer, you can uh, choose uh, different layouts for your slicer. For instance, if you want them to align horizontally or vertically, you can be able to change. So how can we be able to do that? You simply click on the slicer, You go to slicer settings so under slicer settings you can choose vertical list or uh, tiled so tile means horizontal so for now we've chosen tiled it's horizontal Let me remove this. Oh, let me change this. So, so we've put our slicer to be tiled, that is it appears horizontally. Put a visual border for this. Visual border. So this visual border and 
then this we can format paint same applies to this Format paint this. So, so that's our, our dashboard. So any question up to that point? So just changing the color. So more thing you've learned something. Uh, so how to build your visual, how to format your visuals, how to insert slices. All those are important. So are we all okay up to that point? Yeah, okay. So seems we are all fine. So I wish to stop there for today. So we will meet tomorrow. So and tomorrow we will talk about how you see now we've built these other visuals. So we do have also tables and matrices in Power BI. So we shall come and see how you can build tables in Power BI and also how you can build matrices in Power BI. Yeah. So and after that we will go to now power query how you can transform your data using uh, power query so if there is no question so let us meet tomorrow okay Goodbye, good night.